The work that led to the Arlington Police Department being honored for this award um, encompassed some data that was reviewed over the last five years. Since 2010, Arlington has been reviewing our theft and shoplifting calls and looking at components that could uh, lower the amount of calls for service that we had, reduce the resource hours of officers that were responding to these calls, and then have other um, ancillary effects that occurred. It's called the Walmart Restorative Justice Initiative, and it's been in existent in Arlington, Texas for the past 24 months. It's a collaboration between Walmart Corporation and the Arlington Police Department. And it was an eight-step program where we initiated to kind of harden the targets a little bit. And one of the steps was the restorative justice program where we provide second chances for first-time offenders in, in lieu of a, an arrest or criminal record. They had the option to take a uh, educational program. And it's really kind of exceeded our expectations, the overall program. In the past 24 months, we've been able to reduce our police calls for service more than 55%. Well, I think other law enforcements can learn that we can't arrest our way out of crime, that it really has to be a collaborative effort between corporations, the community, and to take an initiative like this where we're working together to not only reduce our crime, reduce the, the scarce resources, our calls for service for the scarce resources that police have, and as well as giving individuals a second chance. We sponsor this award because at the Laura and John Arnold Foundation, we believe in improving the criminal justice system, and that to us means improving public safety, um, as well as improving the fairness and effectiveness of the criminal justice system. And we believe that evidence-based policy making is a critical way that those improvements can happen. Uh, so we are happy to support the Research Advisory Committee in honoring those departments that are best using research and data to improve policymaking in the criminal justice system and hopefully to yield better outcomes.